Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, if you could smash the subscribe button, it really helps me out. And also, if you could smash that like button. Anyway, today we are covering the heavyweights again, and I am bringing you another heavyweight prospect video. Today we're going to be talking about Trey Lippe Morrison. Now, Trey Lippe Morrison is most famous for being the son of Tommy Morrison, the former big punching WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Tommy Morrison was of course also in one of the Rocky movies. So he comes from good stock, good boxing stock. And to be honest, there are some similarities in Tommy Morrison's style to his son's style. But anyway, we'll get into that a bit later. Tommy Morrison, he is 30 years old, he is listed as six foot three with a 74 and a half inch reach. So he's not exactly tiny, but he's not the biggest heavyweight in the world in today's standards. As a pro, he's amassed a record of 16 and 0. All 16 of those wins come by way of knockout, so he does have a 100% knockout ratio. But it has to be said, as a pro, Trey Lippe Morrison as a pro hasn't really fought a high level of competition. If you go through his resume, there's really not much there. I would say his best win is over a former fellow prospect, Ed Lattimore. Ed Lattimore at the time was a 13-0 prospect and Trey Lippe Morrison destroyed him in a round. But that's really the only notable win on his resume. Apart from that, he's really been feasting on journeymen and not even these durable journeymen, you know, just guys who are going to fall over. Guys like Ty Cobb, Pedro Martinez, Byron Poli, you know, these sort of guys. He really hasn't fought a high level of competition. And listen, he's 30 years old. He's 31 in September, I believe. So he does need to get a move on. He needs to step up the level of competition. But Trey Lippe Morrison as a fighter, I will say... He's certainly exciting, he's entertaining, he's aggressive, and he clearly carries some sort of power. Just like his father, his best punch is arguably his left hook. That shot of Trey Lippe Morrison's certainly seems to carry some power, as does his chopping overhand right, as we saw against Ed Lattimore. So I would say his left hook and his overhand right are his best punches. I do believe Trey Lippe Morrison... You know, right now he's kind of predictable. He'll throw the same sort of power shots, like I say, the left hook, be chopping overhand right, but not much else. There's really not much variety to Trey Lippe Morrison's work. I would like to see him try to work the body a bit more. You know, he's a shorter heavyweight, so I want to see him go down to the body, and that's going to be effective in the future against bigger men. And also setting up these power punches. He really loads up into every shot. And right now he's getting away with that because he's fighting no hopers. But when you step up in levels, when you fight more smart fighters, these guys are going to see those shots coming from a mile away. He needs to set these shots up a lot better, you know. I want to see Trey Lippe Morrison work behind the jab a bit more. You know, try to change levels with head movement, feint, you know. Give your opponents different things to think about. Right now, Trey Lippe Morrison, yeah, he seems powerful. Yes, he's physically strong. He's got those attributes, but in terms of the boxing fundamentals and his technical skill set, I really do believe Trey Lippe Morrison has some way to go. He needs to do a lot of improvements, to be honest. Not just in terms of his offense and, you know, things like setting up punches throwing combinations, being less predictable. Yeah, he needs to improve his offence, but also his defence, to me, looks a bit leaky, you know. He's a shorter heavyweight. He needs to be a lot more compact than he is. He's not got the quickest feet or the quickest hands, so he needs to be a lot more compact, in my opinion, you know. Keep a nice tight guard, maybe try to fight out of a crouch, you know. Maybe look at someone like Alexander Povetkin, you know, that would be a good kind of um, style to learn from for Trey Lippe Morrison, in my opinion. But um, yeah, Trey Lippe Morrison, I certainly wouldn't 
put my hat on him becoming the next great heavyweight champion, in all honesty. And maybe this guy won't even be a contender, to be honest. But certainly what I will say, Trey Lipe Morrison is exciting. He carries power. He's aggressive. And he will make for fun fights. But I don't really see this guy having a high ceiling, I've got to be honest. I really don't see this guy going all that far. Another problem with Trey Lipe Morrison, as far as I'm concerned, is his inactivity. Since December 2016, he's had three fights, or sorry, four fights. That's really not much for a prospect, you know, and in those fights he fought nobodies. So what's he really been learning? He needs to be more active and step up in competition, you know. I'm not asking Trey Lepe Morrison to make massive step-ups and fight someone like Dillian White, for example. No, I'm talking about small step-ups. You know, someone like Jermaine Franklin, a fellow prospect, that would be a good test for Trey Lepe Morrison. Even someone like Jerry Forrest, Sean Del Terrell Winters, who recently fought Joseph Parker, these would all be step-ups for Joseph Parker, as far as I'm concerned. Eric Molina, another guy I could mention. Rodney Hernandez. You know, all of these guys, in my opinion, would represent step-ups for Trey Lipe Morrison. But yeah, he's a guy who's exciting, he's fun to watch, he's powerful, but I certainly wouldn't put him in any top five heavyweight prospect rankings or anything like that. And yeah, quite frankly, I can't see this guy becoming a heavyweight champion. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of Trey Lepe Morrison? Peace.